Welcome back to the Engineerable channel. In this video, I'm going to show how to make the Neptune 4 Pro wireless using a Wi Fi adapter that plugs into the Ethernet port and powers itself off the USB port such that you won't need to use the USB key to transfer files anymore, and you won't need to use an Ethernet cable to make a wired connection, and you'll be able to access the Clipper Fluid web interface through the browser. So stay tuned to see how to connect this Wi-Fi bridge and make your Neptune 4 Pro wireless. And this wireless bridge can be used with any printer that doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, but has an Ethernet port that you can connect to to control the printer. Also, by using the Wi-Fi bridge, we'll be able to send files through the browser rather than having to transfer files using the USB key each time. So the first step is to take the Ethernet cable on the Wi-Fi bridge and plug it into the Ethernet port that's on the left side of the printer. Now to power the Wi-Fi bridge, it's powered off this USB connector. If your printer doesn't have a USB port, the easiest way to power this bridge would be to plug this into a USB power adapter. Alright, powered up off of the printer. Now once this is set up, I'm probably going to double sticky it to the back of this controller module like this so it's a cleaner setup. Now get on a device that has Wi-Fi like your phone or your laptop. Let's go to the web browser and we're going to connect this bridge to our local network. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and we're going to, have to connect to the SSID of this bridge. Here it is, Vonets. And the default password is 1234567 Okay, now that we're connected, we're going to go back to the browser and we're going to go to vonets.cfg. If that doesn't work, you can also use 192.168.254.254. Enter the username and password, which are both admin. I actually do not want to use this as a repeater, so I'm going to disable the hotspot. Okay, so now we're going to reboot. Now to connect to the printer, in this case the fluid interface for the Neptune 4, go to 192.168.0.254.254. Boom, I'm connected to the printer over Wi-Fi. So I'm on the mobile browser here. But uh, yeah, connected to the printer. Here we go. Now that the Wi-Fi bridge is set up to connect to the printer, go to the browser and go to 192.168.0.74. And if you haven't changed that IP address, then that's the default. It's gonna go to the connect to the printer. And so you have all the printer controls here. And then if you want to upload files and send them to the printer, click on jobs on the left side. Click on upload. Select the part that you want to print. So now it's uploaded in the printer. You select that part. You probably want to preheat first. So to your preheat, and that preheats automatically to the temperatures that are required for that part. So in this case, it's bringing the extruder up to 230C and 40C on the bed. Give it about 20 minutes to preheat so that the temperatures have stabilized and the Z homing will work accurately. Then go back to jobs and then print. And it's printing. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Watch some of my other videos about 3D printing and I publish lots of DIY videos about 3D printing, machining, making stuff. So stay tuned to see more of those videos in the future.